Hey Leo, welcome. I am bringing you a reading for the 1212 Portal Way, which is also known as the 333, the 333 um, code activation because 12, 1 and 2 is 3. 12, 12 of 2019 is a 333. And uh, that adds up to 9, which as you know in the tarot is all about completions. And it's going to be a very divinely guided period of massive transformation as we shift to a new decade. So that's why I'm doing special individual zodiac readings. It also coincides with the full moon on December 12th, which is at its peak here on the East Coast at 12, 12 a.m. So I don't find that so um, coincidental. I <laughs> I think the cosmos likes to wink at us. And um, But I wanna talk about Gemini full moon because what it's about is Gemini inspires our curiosity. That's part of their nature and the dual the dual nature within. So it is going to enhance our confidence to look at the directions we've taken for maybe the past 10 years, if not the last year, and consider um, making shifts, which comes very easily to Gemini as a mutable, mutable sign. So that's what this full moon will illuminate for us is those parts of our lives that might be off track or where we have sort of been feeling the urge to make a shift and it will pique our curiosity about that. And then at the same time, the asteroid Chiron, which is known as the wounded healer, stations direct in Aries. Aries being about self and identity and, and our boundaries, you know, the boundaries we put in place to protect our identity, to protect our, our, uh, the ego part of self, right? So when Chiron stations direct, it's been retrograde for a long, long time. It's going to take that curiosity of the full moon and then help us implement the change, the shifts in direction. So I feel that that's a pretty interesting cosmic event that we should all be paying attention to. And that's why I am bringing you your own very own individual reading. If you like it, let me know in the comments and I'll do more individual readings. I've never done that on the channel. I've done it uh, in private readings, of course. So let's get started. I'm picking a card for you from the Goddess Power Oracle, and then I will be picking um, a card from the Queen of the Moon Oracle for you and your divine counterpart. These readings are relationship specific. That's my jam. Okay. So you get Freya in reverse. She is the goddess of radical acceptance. Very interesting. One in five is six. That's about balance. She's card number 15. So when I do the no numerology, it is about balance. And this is an alignment message for you, Leo. Here we go. <clears throat> Failure and disappointment are parts of life that few want to accept. Perhaps a job you want doesn't come through. A lover you thought was the one betrays your hopes and expectations. Or maybe your kids are acting out. Maybe a long-term creative project didn't yield the success you so dearly hoped for, or perhaps you were hurt by someone for no apparent reason. Goddess of war and radical acceptance, Freya, says, have no fear. This is only temporary. Now is not the time to linger in perceptions of low self-worth. Your alignment task is to accept the truth wholeheartedly and see your situation exactly for what it is. She will bring you to a place of surrender where you have time to heal. Freya knows that you will emerge stronger and wiser. Only good will come out of this. Trust the goddess Freya is watching over you. Yeah, Leo, you're, you're not usually one to walk around with low self-worth, but because you're so action-oriented and because um, <clears throat> you really are uh, one of the greatest leaders of the Zodiac, if things don't come off as you had hoped or if you put a lot of time, effort, energy or your heart into something, whether it's a job or a relationship and it doesn't work out, I feel you, I do feel you take things harder on the chin than most of the rest of us in the Zodiac. So I kind of like that message for you, especially as we, as we um, end this decade, it's like time to, to heal anything that didn't serve you. Um, anything that didn't come to fruition, it's like maybe do a, a decade in review for yourself and think of all the things that did go right. You know, think, you know, just reflect on that. 
Okay, so I'm going to pick this Queen of the Moon Oracle, one for you, one for your divine counterpart. Here's their card, Attraction. Mm. Card number 44, and you do not reduce that, and your card is Self-Love. There you go. So Radical Acceptance and Self-Love is on tap for you today. Again, interesting, one in five is six, and this is card number six. So six is a good number for you for this reading. I will read your counterpart's number first. And when I say counterpart, I'm talking about if you are in separation from somebody, but that's your person in your mind, that's who I'm talking about. If you are not, if you are free and single and just curious about the twin flame journey and wondering if there's someone on your path, if there was someone on your path, this would be their energy. That's what that's about. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> so they have attraction here. It's about the super moon. You can be magnetic to others and attract the good things in life. You can repel what you no longer wish to attract. Be ready for opportunity. Avoid extremes that might cause negative imbalance in your body or mind. Think of connections greater than yourself. Hmm. So that is the card for them. In fact, I'm going to move this here and just pick this over here. And your card number six of self-love it's one of my favorites. I love the, the image on the card. Radical self-love is necessary. Empowerment starts from the inside out. Do not compare yourself to others. Start your change with focus and, and love of self. And that feels like these, these two things. This is radical acceptance and this is radical self-love. I just love that both of their you know, the head is adorned with, well, this, she's got wings, the wings of war, but I love their headdresses. So yes, radical acceptance and self-love for Leo as we shift into a new decade. I'm so excited about that, actually. <clears throat> the spread will be a little different today. I'll walk you through it. It's the same, um, it's the same, but I'm just going to split the front and the um, extended a little differently. And I'll tell you about that. In the extended I is where I will do more of the um, taking a closer look at the connection and then all the cards I normally pull in the extended, which includes a message to you from spirit and then a message to you from this person and one from you to them. That's energetically as well as... Um, an outcome card. So that will happen in the extended. But for today, for this version, what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the two parties very closely. So this is the divine counterpart here, King of Pentacles. Perhaps you're dealing with an earth sign, Aries, Leo, Sa I mean, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, your energy, Hierophant. Hmm. It's a very spiritual card. And then I'm looking at past, present, future for them, past, present, future for you. And that's what we're going to do here. And then in the extended, I'll pull three cards for the connection like I normally do and all the others that I just mentioned a moment ago. So what I'm looking at here is <clears throat> your energy, Leo, you're coming through with an emphasis on commitment. This can be about your belief systems too, because the Hierophant, obviously with the image of the Pope, it's about um, those institutions of um, like organizations, the church, this is, you know, hospitals, school systems, all those entities that sort of set the standards for our behavior in life and that, um, Tell us what our beliefs are. Sometimes, you know, we, we're born into this world. We don't have a certain belief, any beliefs. We're a sponge and then things are just put upon us. So this may be you questioning your beliefs or evaluating your belief systems or standing up for something you believe in, but it can also be about commitment. And that may be an issue that's very f forward for you right now. <clears throat> wow, in the past, See, spirit doesn't want me to talk to you right now for some reason. Because everything was fine until I sat down and started talking. Everything was fine. Okay. In the past, judgment. 
answering the call. Um, this is reconciliation, um, renewal, reunion energy. But it's answering the call. And right now you're presently in the moon, which is really things just not being very clear for you. There may be some fears, something you're uncertain about, something that maybe there's a hidden agenda you're concerned about or things that are going on behind the scenes that are hidden from your view that have you nervous or anxious or um, a little fearful. You know, like what's, what's coming around the corner. And then your future, Seven of Cups, you're going to have a lot of options and this might create some emotional overwhelm. And this person comes through here as this King of Pentacles, very confident, very stable, very grounded. Like I said, possibly Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be, but their past energy of, as Page of Pentacles. So we got, go from a page to a king um, also makes me feel earth. <clears throat> Justice here is air. That's Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra. But I feel like this page of pentacles energy where they where they were in the recent past was me. There's a small message here, something that is um, identified, tangible, um, but it's information or a message, something that like, you know, oh, look at this piece of paper. This is mess. It's that kind of a thing. So I feel like they had, they received some information or they gave some information in a tangible way. This is a message card, messengers, or, or something to do with their stability where it was like a fresh start. And now they're in this King of Pentacles energy. So they've got it together, very high vibration, very grounded, practical, um, dependable. Uh, the King of Pentacles is also um, very warm-hearted and good-natured, so I feel that they're they're in a good place right now, whoever this person is. Presently, though, they're a little emotionally detached, but I'm 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 not thinking it's that they're emotionally detached from someone. I think they're emotionally detached, um, at, almost as a, a protection device. It's like self-protection, but they are looking up in this picture in this particular deck. This figure is looking up at the Ace of Cups being handed by spirit. And in most decks, it doesn't. And the, and the look on the person's face here is one of longing, like, oh, if only. So while there's, there might be emotional detachment as a measure of protecting the self, I kind of feel like they, they really long for that Ace of Cups. They really would love a fresh start at love, a brand new love. And then we have justice, Libra, balance, fairness. And that's coming up in the future. So I feel like something that's been unfair, that was unfair to them is going to shift and they're going to get the justice that they deserve. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Come on, cards. Work with me. So I, I sort of want to see this Page of Pentacles in the past for this person. Why is the page here? Yeah, they manifested a new beginning. <clears throat> Magician. Really um, had all the tools. Did all, Yeah. Four cups, please. Why is the four cups here? Yeah, I feel like they fresh start. Some message comes in. They manifested it. Mm hmm. Yeah, but a tower is coming down right now for this person. And that's why they're, they're holding back. That's why they're emotionally detached. They are longing for love, but um, something's happening right now in their world that is, is, shake, is shaking them at their core, something unexpected. And right after that, a flash of insight, cre you know, there may be there may be some project there. It could be a million different things. I'm not seeing any cl clarity yet, but this Ace of Wands comes in right on top of that tower. So just as something goes off the rails for them, they get this flash of, of passion, of creative energy coming in. And this, this is like div divinely gifted to them. So I feel like it could be that th this new fresh start they're hoping for coincides it does come in very passionately but it coincides with something that's very difficult justice justice for them in the future 
<laughs> king of Pentacles, justice for the King of Pentacles. That might have something to do with their stability. Some they're going to have some help. Three of Pentacles working together, and then that Four of Cups comes back out. So they're really um, this person is whoever this is is very much keeping unto themselves in terms of romance. They're not, they're not accepting any substitutions is my favorite phrase for this card. So I feel like this person wants fairness and balance. They will, they will, they will receive some help or they're looking for some help or bringing something into the here and now. And they're not going to take any substitutions. I feel they know what they want. That King of Pentacles knows what they want. They know what will feel fair to them. Whoop. And that's who I was going to look at. Oh, Queen of Wands. There you go, Leo. Aries Leo Sag. That's what the King of Pentacles is probably waiting for and why this person is not interested in anybody else. So they may have lots of options or maybe some suitors or people that might be interested, but they're not uh, taking any offers. Why is the Hierophant here for you, Leo? Hmm. Oh, you're funny. Um, so while you're all here in your robes of commitment, you're like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Eight of Swords. Feeling a little trapped. This is stuck energy, not not able to make a, a forward move. There's something you want to do. There's there's some something you want to take action on in a very um, high, high vibe way, you know, with good intention with integrity and character and a nod to your commitment to those values. This is about values, but you don't know how to do it. You're like, I don't know how to do this. And I think you're overwhelmed and you're kind of waiting for information. You're this little page of swords. So you kind of shrink back into page energy and you may be watching this person. You just might be watching them, observing them on social media, for, for example, or maybe you know someone who knows them and you kind of keep tabs that way. I feel it's harmless because I feel that you are in your integrity here, but you're really stuck as to how to move forward. So you're sort of observing from afar, waiting for a sign or some incoming information. And then here's this little page of cups. So we've got like a little message of love or apology is what you really want to do, but you don't know how to go about doing it. I... That just makes me giggle because um, because I, I understand that struggle and, and, I, and I, I have a lot of Leo in my chart and I know that that's what happens to me when I take a stand on something and then I'm like, okay, now how do I get that across? <laughs> what? Now what do I do? Okay, I've got this feeling and I have passion about it or you know when my fire energy comes forward then all of a sudden I'm like I don't know <laughs> I'll just start small so that's why I'm smiling because I can really feel that for you Leo judgment in the past why is judgment here for Leo yep something you've been patiently oh okay this is something you've waited for, for a long time. Some reconciliation, some form of reconciliation. Now this is past energy, but this seven of pentacles leads me to believe you still may be um, waiting for this opportunity. Because the seven of pentacles is like slow energy. It's very grounded and you're waiting for something very, you know, to be manifest in the here and now this is very much um 3d like i want this reconciliation to happen and you've placed the order that would be the two of wands three of wands is about your ships coming in so i feel like there you're now starting to feel some movement with regard to this reconciliation or answering the call of of possibly of this connection but here we go moon energy why is the moon here Why is the moon here? Mm. 
Yes. So you have a lot of uncertainty here. There's some, some stuff going on behind the scenes you don't know about or that you want to reveal to someone else. So it's either something that hasn't yet been revealed for you, to you, or by you. And I say that because on top of it comes this eight of wands. That is a lot of communication, fiery, passionate communication. I feel it's from you to this person. I do feel you will take the first step. You're, you're right now, you're a little stuck and you're, you're, you're scoping things out. But then I think you're going to go forward with this, this message of love to this person or a message of apology, which is why they may be in this justice energy, why they may be in four of cups right now is because they are waiting for that they are waiting for something and that and the tower that's coming down um is followed quickly by incoming passion that's like divinely gifted and here's the passionate message so i kind of feel that you're in the same energy right now and that this person would receive your messages there's nothing to fear on top of that that is the star that's your hope your trust your faith a dream a wish come true with regard to this four of wands twin flame 1111 love this is a very powerful card in soulmate love and twin flame energy and i feel like you um you you're gonna reveal something to this person i do feel that it's more you revealing something to this person about how you feel about them and then you go into seven of cups see this is exactly you know you're going to get brave and you're going to do it that's the energy you're in right now and it's going to really either shatter this but it's going to it's going to knock down something up oh, that's exactly what it's going to do what the message you're going to deliver to this person is going to knock down the way they have sized up the whole situation because they have it wrong. They have it all wrong. And you are that's what the moon is. You're going to reveal something they were completely unaware of. And that's going to knock down their belief system. Like what they've, all of that. They are right now in a, in a state of longing for this love and passing up other opportunities. And you're going to come in with this message. You're going to reveal something that's going to just probably knock them on their bind shock this is shock so in this case it may be a preconceived idea of what really was going on that gets knocked down and that's why this flash of passion uh, comes in for them from the divine i think you're the one that kicks that whole series off and then they feel the justice then they get their justice king of pentacles that the two of you work together three of pentacles but then that four cups comes back it's interesting i'll have to look at that in the extended why is the seven of cups here you will you will yo wow leo yes beautiful so after this little revelation of yours and you get the nerve up to do it now you now you go into like emotional overload oh my gosh i really have to process all this stuff with this person now which isn't maybe your favorite arena you know you're more like yeah can't we move past this and you're not going to be able to and it might create some emotional overload but you you're going to take swift action this is fast moving energy so once this all happens you will move through this processing uh, emotional processing all those options that are available to you you will make a choice a decision about how you want to proceed and here is how knight of cups you are going to go in for the love you're going to go in toward this person they're not open to anybody else so i feel that you're you know you're going to get that once the things get rolling you'll pull back and you'll be a little bit like okay now what do i do and i'm telling you what you do is you move toward them with love because world endings and new beginnings 
Aquarius and Capricorn energy here. The star is um, Aquarius. A lot of air energy for you here. Judgment, I think, think is Scorpio. But I feel that this person you're dealing with is an earth sign because we have King of Pentacles twice and we have the Magician, which is Virgo and Gemini, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Um, so I really do feel like you're dealing with an earth sign and that is what all those messages that were coming through before where I was talking about fire and earth when I was doing the elemental readings and I kept seeing Leo and Virgo. So I'm just I'm putting it out there that I still see it. Um, but it could be any earth sign and any any fire sign. But Leo, this message is for you. And it is with regard to someone who um, things went off, things went sideways with and you're going to make it right. You're going to make it right. And that's going to, you know, take you in a whole new direction. So wonderful reading for you here. If this is your storyline and now you know it is and you want to follow me to the extended, I'm going to pull three cards for, for this connection and then do all the more intense questioning of spirit and the messages to you, uh, from and to you and the other person. And then, of course, the outcome. When might you get this courage up? It says it's happening now, but I, I want to get more specific. So if I don't see you over there, have a wonderful 12-12 and full moon in Gemini. Uh, tie up all the loose ends. Do all your clearing and releasing and letting go um, to prepare for this, this momentous occasion, a shift into the 2020 year and the new decade. All my best to you, Leo. If you want to follow me, the link to the extended is below. See you there. Bye.